tried my best at everything. Um, I'd made businesses, tried to set up lots of businesses, failed at a lot of businesses, but some, some paid off. I owned a gym when I was 21. Um, I was a professional fighter from 19. Training was my life. I loved training people, I loved training myself, I loved the boxing. I then got a scholarship to go to university. Whilst I was at uni, I was doing some work with my dad, uh, doing flooring. Um, realised that I was still pretty good at it because I'd done it my whole life with him. Um, so I went self-employed. I upskilled myself to lots of different things, ended up bathroom fitting, kitchen fitting, a lot of building work, that kind of thing, renovation works. Yeah, and I was just enjoying life more than anything. I've got two kids who I love to bits. Unfortunately, I was in an abusive relationship and had to leave that relationship. I still see my kids as often as I can. Because of the abuse I experienced in that relationship, I ended up turning to drugs and lost everything. Um, I went from having house, kids, relationship, to living in my car within a year. I could have continued to uh, earn and things like that, but to get myself away from the drugs, I needed to get myself away from money. Because um, with working in construction, you find that everybody is involved in drugs. All the lads, as soon as you finish on a Friday, you go to the pub, you drink in. If, if you drink in, there's drugs around. And I had to get myself away from that. Asked my parents if I could move back in with them because I knew that I wouldn't be able to afford my bills. So I moved back in with my parents. Because of debts that had caught up with me from the past, um, bailiffs turned up at my parents' house. They've never done anything wrong in their life, all that kind of thing. And the ba bailiffs turning up for them was way too much to handle. I could have continued to work, but I took myself away from that because I took myself away from money to get off the drugs. So I approached council and they put me into a different hostel in Derby. It was full of active users, it was a horrible. You can't compare it to anything, it's one of the worst experiences of my life. It was coming up to Easter weekend and I had someone in one of the rooms near me kept knocking on my door all night asking for biscuits. I opened the door and it'd be like a zombie stood there asking me for biscuits. It really got to me, it's probably one of the darkest points of my life. And I sat on my windowsill, absolutely lamping it down with rain. I looked out the window and there's a man walking up the street in white hospital gowns, no shoes on. Uh, I wasn't hallucinating because other people saw it too. And he was completely dry. And I don't know what happened to me in that minute, but I had to read scripture. Something happened in me where I just had to look on my phone and read some scripture. And I hadn't read anything like that since I was a child, since primary school. And then the next day, I got a phone call to come here and have an interview with Andy Moore. And as I walked through the door, there was Psalm 23 written on the wall. And my nan, she lived by that Psalm 23. It was everywhere in her house. And I saw that and I don't know what happened, but I felt at peace, I felt calm, I felt at home. And the staff here, that welcoming, um, the residents at the time, because obviously we get a big turnover of people, the residents at the time were just all welcoming. Felt like you could literally walk into any room, sit down with anybody, have a conversation. No one was judging. And it had been a long time since I felt at peace in a place. Everything from my nan growing up and everything, I feel like this was always going to be part of my life being brought here. And now I'm finishing a course and looking at moving on in the next couple of weeks. My, my only goal at the minute is to have a safe house for myself where I can put my daughters to bed and wake up in the morning and make them breakfast. That, that for me is my only goal at the minute.